hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i am filming a favorites video now this is not going to be a monthly favorites because as you guys may have seen on my channel i haven't really been uploading any favorites i think the last one i had was probably a june favorites and i even sure or may favorites so i did miss a couple months and as you guys seen i've really been just posting vlog videos because this summer i decided to vlog every week or post a weekly vlog and now I'm kind of getting it back into the groove of things because it is back to school. I'm not in school myself, but I know a lot of people are just like not really doing the summer activities that much anymore. And I can tell that it's getting darker outside and the weather's changing already, even though it's still pretty hot outside. But there's a few cool days, so I know fall is coming pretty soon. And I'm probably going to have a lot more time to film stuff because not just like vlogs but like sit down videos because i'm probably gonna be in the house a lot often than i've been this summer it's a very crazy summer really great but i decided to just bring you guys a favorites video of some stuff i've been loving this summer it's not a lot but it's all that i can actually find for right now that i've been gravitating to a lot this summer so before i get into that i just want to let you guys know that if you do enjoy watching my videos thank you so much but if you aren't subscribed yet please hit that big red subscribe button down below it'll help me out a lot also so you don't miss any upcoming uploads from me please hit that notification bell down below so you can get notified when i post a new video and also if you do end up enjoying this favorites video please give it a big thumbs up so i'm gonna jump right into it i'm gonna be starting off with like beauty products that's mainly all i have right now but the first product is actually a skincare product and this is not something that you can just like buy off the shelves or anything this is from a website or a business i don't know what it is a brand called curology i'm not sure if you guys have seen this everywhere like any advertisements for it or anything but my sister actually told me about this and I ended up doing more research on YouTube because I found that a lot of YouTubers actually use this and it helped their skin a lot. And I was just hesitant because I feel like a lot of products don't really help my skin. I bought like a ton of stuff for my skincare routine and it doesn't really do that great of a job. As you guys know, I did do a skincare routine on my channel. Um, I'll have a little link up here if you guys want to watch it, but I do have an updated routine which involves this as well. But basically this website... You kind of take like a survey and you kind of put like what kind of like skin problems you have and what you want to fix and then you'll also upload pictures so a real dermatologist can actually like review your skin and see exactly what's right for you and they actually give you like this little bottle well this is just a trial size i just did a trial one but i have a full one coming um of products and ingredients that you can only get prescription they actually can give it to you so that's really great um i believe a full bottle costs about 30 dollars for two months worth so i think it's kind of worth it it's like you're paying 15 dollars for a whole skincare routine in one bottle um so the way i use this is it told me to cleanse my face in the morning pat it dry and then just use sunscreen and then at night cleanse my face at night and then apply the curology um solution or lotion i don't know what it is kind of like a creamy consistency um all over my face pat it in with my fingers and then rub it covering my entire face i even do it around my jaw because i used to have a lot of bumps underneath here and then you sleep with it and then it works overnight so you do that every single night and you have to keep using it which is like most in skincare you have to keep using those products to keep it working because if you stop then your skin just goes back to normal how it was before so i've been using this for about a month now or a little over a month and it works like i'm so surprised like i still do have like this little bit of texture on my skin like when i wear makeup i can see it but as of right here like my clogged pores they're completely gone when i use this and all the like bumps that i was getting underneath my jawline that i could never get rid of no matter how much i exfoliated cleansed my skin using other products to get rid of it this is the only thing that worked and i'm so happy about that because that was so annoying to me i don't know why that was happening but i think this is really worth it and i can't wait to get my bigger bottle because i'm almost running out of this it should be arriving soon but definitely check them out this is not sponsored at all but i just have to say that i really really love this product the next two items are hair products except one of them i use for something else my skin and the other one i actually use for my hair so the one i use for my hair is from the i don't know i think it's the organics brand um renewing and argan oil of morocco 
and this is a weightless healing dry oil for your hair so this is very good I use it on the ends of my hair and even when I do my curly hair routine after I get out of the shower and apply my curly products um, I'll put my hair up in my t-shirt I also have a video on that also um, and I'll keep it on there for a little bit or when at night like I'll sleep with the t-shirt on my head then I'll take it out and actually spray this all over my hair and then I'll use my diffuser and I feel like it's been helping to like really moisturize my hair because it'll get frizzy throughout the day once it completely dries and this kind of helps to reduce that and then also when I do straighten my hair not really today because this is like fifth day straight hair which is kind of gross but when I straighten my hair after using this like every time I do my curly hair routine my split ends look so healthy even though I need to trim really badly but it looks so freaking like nourished and moisturized and I really really love this so I mainly like Moroccan oil I don't know if this is the same thing but this is just argan oil but I don't know if Moroccan oil is the same thing as argan oil but it's so good as you can see I use quite a bit of it and I actually love this and it's a dry oil so it doesn't really make your hair super oily like where you can just see it automatically and it gets stuck all over your fingers it's a little bit smoother and drier as you as it's called um so it's really been helping me i don't know how healthy this is for your hair but i really really like it it was only about 10 bucks from cvs and the next product is from the same brand organics and this is a nourishing coconut milk anti-breakage serum now you're supposed to use this on your hair but surprisingly i use this on my skin specifically my legs when I'm going out and it's the summertime because my legs, no matter how much lotion I put on it, doesn't work and it doesn't look shiny and I like to have shiny legs. So I apply these on my legs and it's really, really good. The only downside to this is that when I go to my sister's house, she has like three dogs and one of her dogs, every time I come over there and I have this on my legs, she looks my legs because I guess it's coconut oil. So it's really delicious to her. <laughs> That's the only bad part. Don't be around puppies when you're wearing this because they will give you kisses on your leg but i really really like this and this was also i believe about 10 bucks i do use it on my hair but since it is like a regular oil and more thick i don't really want to use it unless i need that extra moisture but i'm just good with the argan oil in my hair and i love this for my skin because it's not too heavy and then it's not too like non-nourishing as it says um so it really helps to moisturize my legs the next product is an actual makeup product and this is one that I've been loving so much and I know a lot of people have been raving about it I believe. Um, I think this is the one but this is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer and mine is in the shade Medium Tawny 842B and this is actually the same color as my skin I believe so I should have got a lighter color but I love the consistency of this. It's so easy to blend out. It's kind of like medium coverage, but you can build it up. But I use this to just correct my skin blemishes underneath my eyes, and it covers great. Like, it's so good. It almost reminds me of the NARS um, concealer, the tube one. Um, it's really, really good. It was only like four bucks from the drugstore, and it's cruelty free, which is great. But I really, really like this concealer. It's so creamy and just like so blendable. Like, I don't know. I just really love it. Get your hands on this and try it out. If you're not really a drugstore lover, just please pick this up and just test it. And then who knows, you might keep going to the drugstore and buying some great makeup because they do have really great options. The next item is something I've been wanting for a really long time. Now, I don't have the full size version because I did just want to test it out because I've heard mixed reviews about it. But I so far love it and it's still lasting me quite a while. I got this in about the end of June, I believe, or the beginning of July, one of those and i love this so much and now i want to get the full size but the full size is a little bit pricey for me because for the item that it is i don't usually spend that much on it but this is the glossier u perfume and i got the solid one and it's so cute it's like a little pink pebble it has this little thumb imprint and then you just slide it over and it opens it almost reminds me of like a fidget spinner or something but it's so cute you can see I still have some left and it's still lasting me but I think I'm almost about to pan. I really hope that they do come out with refills for this so you can just carry this on the go instead of getting the full size one. But this smells like so fresh and it reminds me of fall but then you can wear it in the summer. And then even on your skin because it does work with your um, 
chemistry, your body chemistry, is that what it's called? I'm not sure. Um, so it smells different on everyone, but I've heard a lot of people like they don't like the scent at first, which I usually like more masculine scent, so it really works for me. But I've heard a lot of people when they first get it, they don't really like it, but once they're wearing it, they get a lot of compliments, and I have gotten a lot of compliments with this. So I'm really happy about this, and I know some people don't really like Glossier, but a lot of people do. And I have to say that this is probably one of my favorite products from them besides like all their makeup stuff. Like I, I think this is the best thing that they've made. So I'm definitely going to buy the full size version. So we'll see how that goes because this is a solid one. So I don't know if a spray is going to be a little bit more stronger or different. But I'm definitely going to pick it up. I have to. And this is great for on the go. It's just so cute and delicate and so beautiful. So the last item I have is a fashion item. And this was kind of like a bold move for me and it's a bold color too which is why it's probably a bold move but this is actually a handbag and i got it from forever 21 and it was only about 19 bucks but when i just saw it, it was the last one there like they just had this big table full of like handbags and it just was calling my name and i'm like i know i don't think i came and pull that off but i have to get it so be warned but i don't know if it's going to show up this bright on camera but it's basically this fire engine red handbag and it has this hardcore red chain as the handle it's a great size it flips open has a ton of room in it and it's just the color i love it and i'm so sad that i got this towards the end of summer maybe i can pull it off in the fall time but i don't know it just looks so edgy I wore it once as like a nautical look with a blue and white striped shirt and some shorts and this bag and I just felt it really popped the outfit. But I don't know, I just love this bag and I love the one with the chain and the or strap, whatever you want to call it. I was kind of like skeptical because I'm like it's not one of those chains that you could pull, make it longer or just keep it short. But surprisingly it fits comfortable right underneath my arm and doesn't feel too high up and too short where it's like awkward. To like hold around your arm and then you can also just hold it and walk with it and it won't touch the ground or the floor or anything and i don't know it's just really nice like i just love the color i'm not really that afraid to wear it now that i know that it can go with so many things but it's just so great i'm so happy i found this and i know some people are like what is she thinking but i don't know it's just so beautiful to me and it is really great quality i just kind of like Put some little marks on it but i'm okay with it i don't care about spending however much money on a good quality bag like i don't really care but <laughs> i really love this one so i had to pick it up so that is all for the products that i have and items to show you i'm sorry that it's very very short but these are just stuff that i see myself reaching for especially since the summertime i kind of cut down like my makeup routine or even like stuff that i wear so it's like hard and hard to figure out like products that I've been using because I haven't really been using a lot but I'm gonna share a couple songs that I've been loving this month since I also didn't upload any playlist video in a really long time so I'm gonna be sharing some songs that I've been liking for this summer the first song which is probably everyone knows this song and it is level up by Sierra this is that dance challenge that she has everyone doing and I kind of still need to learn it I only know the first two moves and that's it but I just love this song. It's, it just makes me want to like dance every second of the day. Every time it pops on, I just automatically start dancing. So freaking good. Such a great summer song, dance song. And I don't know. I just have to like enjoy it. It's so good. It makes me feel like I'm in a freaking like America's Best Dance Crew or something. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Level up. 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 The next one I didn't realize was Childish Gambino until I shazammed it at my cousin's barbecue and I was like wow like I knew he came up with these two singles but I didn't really give it a listen because I didn't really care in that moment but when I heard the song randomly I'm like who is that the voice sounds so familiar but it doesn't because he can do so many different things with his voice surprisingly like it's crazy and this one is feels like summer and it's just a cool nice vibe summer song and like it almost reminds me like that red bone feel i don't know it just makes me get so much into like the mood of like just chilling i don't know it's so, it's so good it's so freaking good The 
next song is a song by Phoenix because I did see them this summer and this song just like came back to me in this moment and I've just been listening to it ever since and it's entertainment and I even heard it in a bar and I was like oh my gosh it reminds me of them I want to see them again and that concert was just so so good like they did so amazing at that concert and I don't know why this song just stuck out to me while I was there but it's just so good. It's also like a very summery feel song to me. I don't know, but it's like a sad, like summer's over kind of song. But yeah, I love that one too. That is all that I have to share with you guys. I'm sorry once again that it was really short. I don't know if it was. I tried to talk more in depth about these items just to make it feel a little bit longer. But hopefully in the upcoming months I can post more favorites video or just more sit down videos. I would really really like to. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching and keeping up with me. I've been really appreciating the amount of new subscribers that I've been getting. Even though I still have a long way to go. But I'm so thankful for the new ones that have arrived. Thank you so much for subscribing. But if you do want to keep up with me when I'm not posting any videos, you can follow me on my Instagram at elizardbit. And I'm always posting on there no matter what. Especially my Instagram stories. I'm always posting in there like random stuff. So you can definitely catch me on there and also you can request videos that you like to see on there. Don't worry, I don't bite. Very cool to talk to. So just hit me up on there if you have any questions. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys hopefully in the next one. Bye!